Yu Qingning, a military doctor from the 30th century, traveled to ancient times and became a weak rural woman who took two steps to catch her breath. She is naturally weak and not afraid. She has medical space and is guaranteed to be able to bounce around, doing everything from mountain to sea. She is from a humble family, not afraid. She cooks delicious food and runs workshops, and accidentally becomes the richest person in the country. The medical clinic she founded has become a nationwide chain and is revered as an idol by countless doctors. She went to the battlefield and treated countless soldiers, known as a divine doctor. However, Yu Qingming couldn't figure out why the person she had saved because of her desire for beauty would cling to her and not leave. How did this person become the famous king of Dingbei in the great Zhou dynasty? What, this person wants to marry me as a queen? Yu Qingming thought for a moment, it seems that this person is pretty good. How about marrying him? At least he is a handsome guy, and he's not at a disadvantage. A certain demon man raised his eyebrows, feeling proud and coquettish in his heart. It seemed that having a good appearance was still very good. Xu Jinbai, who crawled out of the pile of bones, was no longer the reckless young general he used to be. He carried deep blood and hatred, with only a towering hatred in his heart. But later on, the luckiest thing in his life was being saved by a girl when his life was in danger, and then he met the person he wanted to love with his life. Beautiful and sassy prostheses, weak and true big boss versus sexy and black belly, enduring revenge young general small theater. One day, the person who was beaten to half death by Yu Qingming reported to Xu Jinbai. Xu Jinbai raised her eyebrows and said innocently, My wife is kind dot hearted and delicate. How could she hit someone? Yu Qingming said with temptation, Be good. Xu Jinbai obediently said, Hmm. The person who reported. Death. Keywords of the novel. Nongmen Space. After rescuing the villain, I was targeted without a pop dot up window. Nongmen Space. After rescuing the villain, I was targeted with a complete TXT download. Nongmen Space. After rescuing the villain, I was targeted with the latest chapter to read. Chapter 1. Dressed up as a naturally weak rural woman. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Dressed up as a naturally weak rural woman When Yu Qingming woke up, the whole room was filled with crying. There are men and women, and there are children. Several lonely and different voices, deafening cries, echoed in her ears. Crying and mourning. Who died? Yu Qingming was getting a headache from the argument. As soon as she thought of a sound, she found that her throat was so dry that she couldn't speak. The pain in her throat was like a needle prick. She could only endure the pain in her throat and hoarsely said, Stop making noise. The sound was very rough, as harsh as the friction of sand. Yu Qingming was startled by her own voice. Her voice, why is it so hoarse? At this moment, she really wanted to come up with a classic quote from a certain biography. As soon as the words fell, the crying of two adults came to an abrupt end, leaving only two childish voices, still tirelessly crying. Their voices were already hoarse, but they couldn't stop crying. I don't know why, but when she heard these two children crying sadly, Yu Qingming felt a slight pain in her heart. Ning Ning, a shocked man's voice rang in her ear. Yu Qingming opened her eyes and looked at the scene before her. A couple wearing worn dot out clothes with waxy yellow faces, probably in their thirties. There are also two thin and small children crying like two little flower cats, one boy and one girl, probably twins, who look very similar, especially those round and big eyes, which are very beautiful. The two children have thin cheeks, few spots of flesh, and are much shorter than the average child. The clothes on the body are also old clothes worn by others, and some areas have been torn and patched again, but they are very clean and tidy. This house is also very dilapidated, with cracks covering the walls of the earthen house, which is on the verge of collapse. There is only one bed, one table, and several black broken cabinets in the room. 
Inside the cabinets are several neatly stacked clothes that have been washed very clean, which are very simple. Ning Ning, you. You. The middle dot aged man was so excited that he couldn't speak. The middle dot aged woman next to her also looked at her with hopeful and incredulous eyes, but with a hint of fear and confusion in her eyes. I'm not dead, Yu Qingning lowered her head, but a hint of shock flashed through her covered eyes. At this moment, a memory that did not belong to her appeared in her mind, causing her brain to experience a rare momentary lag. The memory in her mind clearly told her that she had traveled from the 30th century to this unknown dynasty. She, Yu Qingning, a military doctor in the 30th century berserker army, was shot by energy cannons on the battlefield and died before wearing clothes on a girl with the same name and surname as her. Yu Qingning's mind is now filled with thunderous thoughts, and the screen is full of, I'll go there. How could she just be bombarded and then travel in a very trendy way? Make her play. This is Xiyu village in the great Zhou kingdom. Most of the households in this village have the surname Yu. The couple in front of her are her father Yu Wenzhou and mother Song Tianwan, who were born and raised in Xiyu village. Those two children are her younger brother and sister Yu Qingyin and Yu Qingrui, a pair of twins, who are eight years old this year. The original owner, Yu Qingning, is thirteen years old and the eldest in the family. The original owner gave birth prematurely and was naturally weak and sickly, but her parents did not abandon her. Over the years, she has been drinking medicine non-stop and has been relying on a continuous supply of drugs to hang her life. However, the original owner's family was not wealthy, and over the years, she had already emptied her financial resources to buy medicine, drink medicine, and seek medical treatment from doctors. In recent years, life has become increasingly difficult, but Yu Wenzhou and Song Tianwan still try their best to give anything good to their original owners. The original owner had always felt guilty for dragging down the family because he couldn't do anything. This time, he accidentally heard Yu Wenzhou and Song Tianwan discussing selling their land and continuing to buy medicine for her. In this era, those few acres of land are all their wealth. The original owner knew that the entire family's income depended on the few acres of land. If the land was sold and the family lost their income, how would their parents and siblings survive? The original owner jumped into a river at the entrance of the village while the family was not paying attention, in order to not continue to burden their family and make their younger siblings better off. The original owner was already weak and couldn't bear the cold water of the stream, so he didn't make it through. So when she was rescued from the river, she could no longer live. After the original owner left, she put it on her body. Yu Qingning pursed her lips and said in a hoarse voice with a pale face, Dad, Mom, I'm fine, I'm making you worry. You. Acting skills. Qingning goes live. Upon hearing her words, Song Tianwan's suppressed emotions finally broke through, and she cried loudly, sounding even more sad and desolate than the previous cry. Song Tianwan approached and tightly hugged Yu Qingning, tears streaming down her slightly aged face and dripping onto Yu Qingning's neck. Warm tears ran rampant on Yu Qingning's neck, causing her heart to tingle slightly. She didn't have much emotional attachment to Song Tianwan herself, but her physical reaction came from within, involuntarily. Moreover, with such a loving pair of parents, Yu Qingning felt that her original self was happy. Yu Qingning's eyes were moist, and she gently wrapped her hands around Song Tianwan's neck, hugging him back, and then choked up, saying, Mom, I'm fine now, don't be sad. Her thin body trembled slightly, as if she had experienced something terrible. In order to prevent Yu Wenzhou and Song Tianwan from doubting herself, she still had to show fear as if she had gone through a dead gate. She is really working too hard. Song Tianwan nodded while shedding tears and said, Yes, my mother is not sad. Ning Ning, you must not be so foolish in the future, okay? Song Tianwan learned the news of his daughter jumping into the river today, and was frightened and fainted on the spot. Ning Ning's body was so weak that she couldn't bear the cold of the stream. Yu Wenzhou also had tears in his eyes. How could he not know what Ning Ning was for? 
At this moment, he hated himself immensely. Why is it so useless to be so cowardly? He couldn't even protect his own daughter and couldn't let the whole family live a good life. Yu Qingning nodded and said with a hint of tears in her voice, Dad and Mom, don't worry, I won't commit suicide casually again. If there is a chance to live again, she will definitely cherish her life. After all, she has all died once before. Yu Wenzhou and Song Tianwan were skeptical. They were really scared by today's situation, afraid that Ning Ning might do something foolish again. Mom and Dad, I'm tired. You go rest with Anan and Ruerue, Yu Qingning said wearily to Yu Wenzhou. She could feel that her body was really weak. She just woke up for a while and felt exhausted. It seems that her body needs to be well regulated for a while. No matter how you travel, you don't give her a good body. This bullshit travel. Besides, she really wants to be quiet. Yu Wenzhou and Song Tianwan were actually very worried about her, but seeing the tired expression on their daughter's face, they couldn't bear to see her tired. Yu Qingyin and Yu Qingrui stopped crying and stayed behind them obediently. Although they saw their sister wake up and wanted to hug her, they were also very sensible and did not come forward to disturb her. The two of them know that their sister's health is not good, so they usually don't bother her. Come on. Collect, vote, comment. P.S. 1. This article is fictional, and the prices of the items in the article are not true, so there is no need to delve too deeply. 2. This article is of utmost quality and is a heartwarming message for the female protagonist to lead the village to prosperity. 3. In the early stage of this article, there were many farmers engaged in farming and business, while in the later stage, there were many courtiers involved. 4. This article can be considered as the main female leads article, depicting her later growth. 5. The male and female protagonists in this article have no dog blood, no misunderstandings, and have always trusted and relied on each other. They have a sweet and sweet relationship, and the whole process is sweet without abuse. 6. Author Yen Kong, the characters in the book are all handsome and beautiful. Of course, the male and female leads are the most handsome and beautiful. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Abilities, Medical Space. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Abilities, Medical Space Yu Wenzhou and Song Tianwan walked out with Yu Qingyin and Yu Qingrui. Yu Wenzhou let out a heavy sigh, his tone also heavy, and said, Ning Ning has woken up. This hurdle has finally passed. The two of them remembered what a master had said back then, that Ning Ning would face a life-threatening disaster. However, after overcoming this disaster, Ning Ning not only lived a peaceful and joyful life, but also achieved great things. They never thought about great things, but peace and happiness were what they sought. Due to their negligence, Ning Ning was born weak, and they were already ashamed of this daughter. They hoped that she could live a peaceful and happy life. Thinking of this, Yu Wenzhou breathed a sigh of relief and smiled with relief, saying, Ning Ning is fine now. You can rest assured. We must believe in the prophecy of the master back then. At first, he was young and energetic, unwilling to believe the master's prophecy, but after so many years, some of what he said came true one by one, which made him unable to believe it. Yu Wenzhou took Song Tianwan's hand and walked out, saying, let's go make some food for Ning Ning. She must be hungry when she wakes up later. Song Tianwan nodded and pulled him back. Don't go. Go and dig some sweet potatoes in the field and come back. I'll cook some rice congee for Ning Ning. There are still some leftover white rice borrowed from the neighbor next door at home, so Ning Ning's health is not good, so she naturally wants to eat it. The sweet potatoes in the field are about to ripen recently, so they can dig some back and eat them. Looking at the two thin and small children behind him, Song Tianwan felt uneasy. They have no ability, they can't even make the two children eat and dress warmly. Yu Wenzhou naturally knew what his wife was thinking. To be honest, he was also feeling very uncomfortable, but their family's annual harvest was indeed not good. 
After paying taxes, the rest was not enough for the whole family to eat for a year. Fortunately, he still knows a few words and writes letters or reads letters to the people in the village every year, which can earn him some money. However, even so, it is not enough for the family's expenses. Yu Wanjo instructed the two children to stay at home and take good care of their sister, then walked towards the field. Song Tianwen also wiped his hands and walked towards the kitchen to prepare for cooking. Yu Qingyan followed in very consciously. Although he was not good at cooking, he could make a fire. Yu Qingrui consciously ran to the side and sat obediently, not causing them any trouble. Her round big eyes looked at the kitchen without moving. Song Tianwan took out a cloth bag and opened it, revealing white rice, but there wasn't much left. Yu Qingyan's young and thin face looked longingly at Bai Mi, but he didn't say anything. He knew it was for his sister to eat. His sister is very kind to him, and he also wants to be good to his sister. Song Tianwan skillfully washed the rice twice, then poured it into the pot and added water. In no time, Yu Wanzhou returned, holding several medium-dot-sized sweet potatoes in his hand. He washed the soil off the sweet potatoes with water and then steamed them in another pot. Although they can't eat much on weekdays, they can still eat half full with sweet potatoes. Yu Qingning can hear the commotion outside even inside. She didn't think it was a lie that she was tired before, but she couldn't sleep anymore. This body is really weak, and Yu Qingning can't bear it. Before crossing the border, although she was a military doctor, she was also a soldier. Her physical fitness was comparable to that of people in the army, and even stronger than some people. When she had a superpower in her hand, she could have punched a mutated wolf to death. Now, I'm afraid it would be difficult for her to stomp on an ant with just one foot. She couldn't accept the sudden difference she had to go through. If it's a change in the environment, she can adapt quickly, after all, she has stayed in the berserker army and it's not for nothing. But this weak and sickly body that can belch at any time really limits her too much. Now she doesn't even have the strength to get out of bed. When Yu Qingming was troubled, a sudden thought came to her mind. She looked at her wrist and saw a birthmark resembling a leaf, which could also be said to be a mark. At this moment, this mark is slightly burning, burning Yu Qingming's skin. Her mind twitched, and in the blink of an eye, she appeared in a different space. The entire space is filled with flowers and birds singing, full of vitality. Yu Qingming laughed in surprise, not expecting this space to follow her. This is a pharmacy, also known as a medical space. In the 30th century she lived in, technology had developed beyond people's imagination, so some people with special constitutions developed different abilities, which experts called supernatural abilities. For example, she has a natural talent in medicine since childhood, and has read medical books that are unforgettable. Many medical professors have praised her as a good student of medicine. Unfortunately, she was held back by family matters, and it wasn't until after graduating from college that she resolutely joined the military despite opposition from her family and became a military doctor. Afterwards, she unintentionally developed a superpower. Abilities are derived from different physical constitutions of individuals, which greatly enhance various indicators of physical and mental strength, both increasing exponentially. This medical space emerged after she developed her powers and accompanied her for many years. At first, it was a large open space with only a high-dot-tech pharmacy. Later, she built a villa in the space and used it as a place to live. So when on the battlefield, she almost treated this place as her home, doing everything here. Therefore, many things have also appeared in this space at this moment, such as the bedroom, kitchen, study, restroom, and so on. However, the ability did not follow it, she thought with a slight regret in her heart. But with this medical space, she is also very satisfied. Xiao Jiu, she shouted, her crisp voice echoing in the vast and quiet pharmacy like a chicken. Here, master, the space is small and nine is at your service. A mischievous, somewhat childlike voice rang out in the space. This is the guardian of the power space, or rather the steward, ranked ninth, 
so she calls him Xiao Jiu. Occasionally, he would also be called Mr. Nine. Because this butler is very stinky, it's even harder to get him to do some work than climb to the sky. Upon hearing the familiar voice that had accompanied her countless times, Yu Qingning couldn't help but feel a bit dazed, with unparalleled excitement in her heart. Yu Qingning looked affectionately at this place. With this space, her weakness problem could be solved. In her original world, technology has greatly improved, and experts have developed a drug that can greatly enhance people's physical fitness and compensate for human body defects. In her space, there are gathered some of the most advanced drugs and instruments in the world, among which there are naturally such drugs. She saw the situation of the Yu family in her eyes, so she decided to slowly adjust their bodies first. Also, the two little dolls, Yu Qingin and Yu Qingrui, were too thin and needed to be repaired properly. In addition, if she wants to live a good life, she may have to find ways to earn money. It seems that one's life cannot be leisurely yet. The task is heavy and the road is long. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Warmth she has never experienced before. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Warmth she has never experienced before when Yu Qingming woke up, Yu Qingrui was guarding her bedside, with round big eyes staring at her. Seeing her wake up, she spoke softly and said, Sister, you finally woke up. Her dark eyes narrowed happily, revealing a cheerful smile, and her missing tooth was also revealed due to the smile. The innocence of the child was undoubtedly revealed at this moment, extremely cute. Seeing her silly and worried appearance, Yu Qingning's heart softened, and immediately overflowed with love for her. This is her sister, she thought with a soft feeling in her heart. So soft and cute. In the original world, she didn't have her own brothers and sisters. The cousins and cousins in the family were evil wolves, and they wanted to peel off her skin. Between them, there is no brother, friend and sister Gong, no sisters as deep feelings, only endless temptation, malice and malice, only endless competition and dripping blood. But now, when Yu Qingrui looked at her with such a loving gaze, her heart softened and suddenly felt a sense of responsibility as a sister. Yu Qingming gently touched Yu Qingrui's head. The little girl's hair was soft, just like her, like a cute and cute little kitten, with a milky texture. How so cute! She thought to herself. She unconsciously softened her voice and said, What's wrong, Rue Rue? That's how she was originally called. Although she was the most favored at home, the two little dolls were very dependent on her. The relationship between siblings was very good, and there was no jealousy or anything like that. The main reason is that the two children are too sensible, which makes people feel heartbroken. Yu Qingrui thinks that today's sister is so gentle and treats her better than usual. She likes her sister the most. Yu Qingrui patted her head in frustration and said, I almost forgot, sister. My parents asked me to have dinner with you. Yu Qingrui's voice is clear and sweet, with a touch of childlike softness, it sounds extremely pleasant. Yu Qingming only thinks that his sister is good everywhere. Yu Qingming slept for a while and felt much better. She wasn't as tired as before. Of course, when she was in the space, she took one of those potions, which started to work. I believe it won't be long before she can get rid of this weak body. So he lifted the blanket and slowly got off the bed. It is currently October and the weather is not cold. Walking outside in the yard, there is only a slight coolness, which brings a cool feeling. Not far away, you can see the outline of a mountain, and the part above the mountainside seems to be shrouded in clouds and mist, making it difficult to see clearly. Yu Qingming was supported by Yu Qingrui as she walked into the yard. She looked up and saw that the yard was not very big, with bamboo fences around it. However, the yard was very tidy, indicating that the people who usually clean it were very careful. There are also some vegetables grown in the yard, which are now very lush. A table was placed in the yard. There was not much rice on the table. There was a bowl of white rice porridge, a bowl of rice soup, two white flour mantu, 
several coarse flour steamed buns, steamed sweet potatoes, and a plate of vegetables she could not see whether they were fried because there was no oil. Yu Qingning sighed deeply when she saw that the food on the table was devoid of any meat or fish. She doesn't have the meat she loves to eat. How can there be no meat? How can it be done? Important things need to be said three times. It seems that the matter of making money should be put on the agenda earlier. Otherwise, if we eat these all day, when will we be able to raise the two little dolls for nothing? Of course, the most important thing is that she can eat meat all at once. Thinking this way, Yu Qingming felt extremely wonderful in her heart. Making money and getting rich is the big deal. Money is not everything. Without money, it is absolutely impossible. She finally understood what this sentence meant. Yu Qingming looked at the white rice porridge and white flour mantu that were placed in front of him on purpose. She won't eat white noodles herself and let others eat coarse noodles. She can't do that. Of course, she can do things like eating meat herself and letting others drink soup. After a pause, she divided half of the white rice porridge in front of her to Yu Qingyin and Yu Qingrui, leaving only a small bowl for herself. Song Tianwan tried to stop her, but was blocked by Yu Qingming's hand. Then she smiled lightly and said, Dad, Mom, let Ainan and Rue Rue eat together. I can't eat that much. Besides, I believe our family's life will get better. In the future, we can eat whatever we want after speaking, she gently pinched Yu Qingrui's beautiful little face and smiled lightly, saying, From now on, Rue Rue will have delicious food every day, okay? Yu Qingrui's eyes suddenly lit up, with a longing in them. Okay, Rue Rue wants to eat meat, but she needs to give it to her sister first. Her soft voice made Yu Qingming's heart extremely sweet. What kind of thoughtful little cotton jacket is this? She truly deserves to be her good sister. She couldn't help but think of awarding her the title of national good sister. Yu Qingming brought the bowl of white rice porridge to Yu Qingrui, then gave her half of the white mantu in front of her and said, eat it. Similarly, she handed Yu Qingyin half a mantu and touched his head. Anan, eat. The two of them didn't move, but instead looked at Yu Wenzhou with anticipation in their eyes. Yu Qingming could tell that they were not very old, but they were well educated and very sensible. Yu Wenzhou smiled and said with relief, let's eat. Since it is Ning Ning's kindness, they cannot disappoint. He could tell that Ning Ning was different. The master's words are indeed correct. With his consent, Yu Qingyin and Yu Qingrui happily ate the white flour mantu and white rice kanji. The mantu was soft and fragrant, and the white rice kanji was boiled very thick. The smell of rice echoed in their mouths, and the two little dolls pursed with satisfaction. Their family was surrounded by a faint warmth, which warmed up to Yu Qingming's heart. This is a feeling she has never experienced before. In the blink of an eye, a few days had already passed. Yu Qingming has been sitting in bed for most of these days, occasionally getting out of bed and taking a walk. Of course, her body is recovering rapidly. She spends some time in the space every day and then takes the medicine to improve her physique. She feels that her body is gradually recovering, and at least her internal health is much better than before. The problem of panting for a few steps is not as serious anymore. In the past few days, she has secretly put the medicine into the water tank at home. I believe that after a period of time, the quality of the other people at home will improve. But if you want the two little dolls to grow white and chubby, you still need to eat better. She probably knows what she has eaten these days. At home, she mainly eats sweet potatoes. She seldom eats white rice kanji, which is basically for her own patient. She has never eaten meat. What she eats is cabbage and vegetables without any oil. For a meat enthusiast, the days without meat are really too hard. So, after a few days of cultivation, she decided to go to the mountains near Shiyu village to take a look. As the saying goes, relying on mountains to eat mountains. A nearby mountain is very high, 
with lush forests Yu Qingming speculates that there may be some medicinal herbs inside. Although medical development was very advanced in the 30th century, she also studied traditional Chinese medicine and did not abandon it. For thousands of years, everything from our ancestors has a certain reason. Although she is confident, she is not arrogant, and she still understands the principle of inclusiveness. Later on the battlefield, traditional Chinese medicine played a great role and saved many people. In this situation, if she had medicinal herbs, she could take them to the town to sell for money. However, the biggest problem now is actually how she should get out of home. My parents won't let her go out. Another day later, after both Yu Wenzhou and Song Tianwan went to work in the fields, she finally caught the opportunity. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Climbing the Mountain You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Climbing the Mountain Although she has been staying in bed recently, she can feel that her body has probably recovered by about 50%. It has to be said that the effect of that medicine is really good, and it is truly the medicine that was sought after by various aristocratic families in the 30th century. If it weren't for her being in the military, she probably wouldn't have received it yet. The luckiest thing is that after she has space, everything that exists in the space can be infinitely replenished, without fear of her consumption. This incredible feature has saved her a lot of money. As long as she has one, there will be countless. So in the space, she also stocked up a lot of food, which she can slowly take out later. Just not yet, otherwise she will be treated as a monster. In the space, she specially built a super large storage room with a lot of stock, which is probably quite useful in this world. She put on her clothes, the materials were poor, but for her, it was acceptable. After all, she has experienced any difficult and arduous environment on the battlefield. She walked out of the room and saw Yu Qingrui and Yu Qingyan watering vegetables in the yard. Although their house is relatively dilapidated, it is not small in size. There are four main rooms mainly used for living, with Yu Wenzhou and Song Tianwan having one room, two little dolls having one room, and she herself having one room, while the other is vacant. In addition, there is a room for storing food and miscellaneous items, as well as a kitchen. Generally speaking, the room is still spacious enough for people, but it is not very sturdy due to the mud and stones. Therefore, a lot of vegetables were planted in the yard, and after making money, Yu Qingming wanted to buy a few more chicks and ducks to keep in the yard. Sister, how did you come out? Yu Qingming saw her and ran over to her side, looking up in a calm tone like an old man. Yu Qingning couldn't help but burst into laughter when she saw an eight-year-old child speaking in such a mature tone, but she also felt heartbroken. The children of poor families have long been in charge, and indeed so. If I had grown up carefree and pampered, how could I be so mature? Yu Qingning smiled and pinched his well-touched little face, saying, I'm going to the nearby mountains to take a look. You stay at home obediently. Yu Qingyan shook his head anxiously and said firmly, No, my parents have said they won't let my sister go out alone. A few days ago, my sister secretly went out on her own, and then she jumped into the river. He was afraid and afraid that he wouldn't see her. Noticing his expression, Yu Qingming still had something unclear. It seems that the actions of the original owner have caused a lot of shadows in their hearts. Yu Qingyan pouted slightly and said hesitantly, I'll go with my sister. Yu Qingrui also stroked her short legs and ran over, raising her delicate and beautiful face. She sweetly said, Sister, I'm going too. Yu Qingning's inner OS. Carrying big treasure. Yu Qingning, who already has the potential as a younger sister and younger brother controller, wouldn't refuse. She took the basket from the yard, carried it on her back, and then held one hand before walking out. Xiyu village is not very big, there are probably over a hundred households who know each other, and the villagers are very simple and kind. They don't do such sneaky things, so when Yu Qingming went out, he didn't lock the door, only slightly closed the yard door. Surrounded by mountains and lush greenery, Xiyu village looks like a natural green barrier. According to Yu Qingming's conjecture, 
Shiyu village is approximately located in the north, with few rivers and fields planted with sweet potatoes, corn, wheat, and other crops. Green mountains and clear waters, blue skies, lush crops growing in the fields, the air seems to be filled with the fragrance of soil and the fragrance of millet. Yu Qingning was delighted to see this beautiful and pure natural scenery. After staying in bed for so many days, my bones are almost lying weak. Moreover, in the 30th century, we couldn't see such beautiful scenery anymore. At that time, all we saw were artificial landscapes, and there was no such beautiful and unadorned lush fields. She gave a cheerful smile and looked around. At this time, everyone in the village went to work in the fields, so there weren't many villagers on the road. Yu Qingning led two little dolls up the mountain without any obstacles, thanks to the medicine she had taken in the past few days. Otherwise, she might not have been able to climb the mountain. This mountain is very large, and no one knows what it looks like inside. Generally, people in the village only pick some wild vegetables at the foot of the mountain and never go deep into the depths. With her current strength, she is not yet confident in delving deeper. When her skills recover, she can walk deeper and see if there is anything unusual in the mountains. When we reached the mountains, we looked up and saw towering trees everywhere, but we couldn't see the sky at first glance. Yu Qingming led Yu Qingyin and Yu Qingrui, feeling quite cautious in her heart. Although this was the outskirts of the mountain, she didn't know what was inside it, so she didn't dare to slack off, afraid of some fierce beasts. Relying on her unforgettable memory, she once memorized various medicinal herbs. In her space, there are still some precious medicinal herbs with a long history, such as Ganoderma lucidum, Polygonum multiflorum, ginseng, etc. Some were discovered by chance, some were bought by her, and some were bought at high prices by her at auctions. However, in the 30th century, due to the rapid development of technology, the spiritual energy between heaven and earth was greatly reduced. Some precious medicinal herbs were artificially cultivated, and wild medicinal herbs were rarely seen. Her space butler, Mr. Nine, told her that there should not be too few medicinal herbs in the nearby mountain. The forest is full of green and vibrant, even in October, there is no sign of withering or decay. Yu Qingning's eyes lit up when she saw this lush green scene, and a wave of joy filled her heart. When she saw the mushrooms growing under the tree, her joy grew even greater. She showed an extremely bright smile, then pulled the two little dolls behind her and walked towards the tree with mushrooms growing. Attractive mushrooms grew in clusters, forming a group. She crouched down and picked all the mushrooms under the tree, throwing them into her backpack basket. Yu Qingming was pleasantly surprised to find these mushrooms. They were all artificially cultivated in the 30th century, and their taste was naturally inferior to that of wild mushrooms. This mountain is so big, I believe there must be plenty of wild game. Wait for her to set another trap and catch a few wild chickens. She can make a wild chicken stewed with mushrooms at night, which must be delicious. Thinking of meat, she secreted saliva. Yu Qingyin saw her movements and quickly stopped her. He anxiously said, Sister, these things cannot be picked, they will eat people to death. He once saw people in the village picking these mushrooms, and after eating them, they frothed and almost died. Yu Qingning smiled and said happily, Some mushrooms cannot be eaten, but these in my hand are edible. She affectionately pinched his little face again and couldn't help but marvel at the feeling. When I go back today, I'll make something delicious for you. You'll definitely like it. Wild mushrooms have a fresh taste. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Need to Obtain Energy. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 Need to Obtain Energy Yu Qingrui was extremely surprised, and a question appeared on her meaty face. Sister, when will you cook? She has never seen her sister cook before. Upon hearing her question, Yu Qingning's pale face showed a mysterious smile, and then approached the two little dolls and said, Ainan, Rue Rue, sister told you a secret. Actually, after my sister fell into the water last time, I dreamt of a fairy who was very powerful. 
He taught her a lot of things, so she is also very powerful now. This mushroom is what he taught me to recognize Yu Qingrui exclaimed in surprise, is that sister an old immortal? Yu Qingyan pursed his lips and looked conflicted. Why did he feel that what his sister said was not quite right, but it made a lot of sense? Otherwise, the whole village wouldn't know the mushrooms here, only his sister knew them. Yu Qingning caught the expressions of both of them in his eyes, and a smile of success flashed through his agile eyes. The little girl is very simple, believing whatever she says. Although Yu Qingyan is young, he is very intelligent and not easy to fool. In the days to come, she will inevitably show some suspicious aspects. Now, when she tells the story of dreaming of an old immortal, people gradually believe that doing things in the future will be much easier. In this era, people would be more receptive to stories with mythological connotations. Otherwise, if she suddenly changed so much, people would inevitably doubt her and even think she was a monster or something. Yu Qingming earnestly instructed the two young children, Remember, I dreamt of an old immortal. Yu Qingyan and Yu Qingrui obediently nodded, and then firmly remembered this in their hearts. Yu Qingming finished picking the mushrooms and then patted the mud on his hands. She is not planning to pick too many mushrooms, she can eat enough for one or two days. Anyway, there are plenty of mushrooms on this mountain, so there's no rush at this moment. Yu Qingming carried a backpack and continued walking inside, holding the hands of Yu Qingyan and Yu Qingrui. Xiao Jiu, Yu Qingning secretly called out to the steward of her own space. Here, master, what's up? Xiao Jiu can be cute, coquettish, or mischievous, and can also help the master treat patients. The extremely lively and jumping voice kept ringing in Yu Qingning's mind. Yu Qingning couldn't help but want to stroke her forehead. She almost forgot that her big butler was a mischievous person who liked to tease people. Xiao Jiu, help me find if there are any medicinal herbs nearby. Remember, the ones that are valuable. Yu Qingning didn't hesitate to call her, without any courtesy. But master, they don't have the strength, how can they find it? Xiao Jiu replied weakly. Yu Qingning frowned and said, what's going on? This kid is lazy again, and if his skin itches, he wants to find a way to drip. Xiao Jiu seemed to know what she was thinking and quickly explained, Master, because you came to this world without treating patients, space cannot receive energy, and Xiao Jiu has no choice. Xiao Jiu did not slack off and whimper. Energy. What kind of devilish thing is that? Yu Qingming said, there was no such requirement before, how come we need to treat patients here? She didn't have these laborious requirements when using space and Xiao Jiu before. Xiao Jiu stopped whimpering, chuckled twice, and then replied positively, Master, in the 30th century, there was an energy source, so there was no need for human beings to obtain energy. But in this era, some are too backward, so we need the Master's help. By the way, Master, if there is no power for a long time, space and Xiao Jiu will disappear. Yu Qingning. He he he. I not only don't get any benefits now, but I also have to constantly save people to keep Xiao Jiu alive. So I still have to support you now. After saying these words, Yu Qingning's face instantly turned black, like the calm before the volcanic eruption, which immediately raised the heart of butler Xiao Jiu. Seeing her face not looking good, Xiao Jiu was afraid that she would use the operating system in the space to teach him a lesson like before. He trembled all over and quickly added, however, Master, if you can obtain enough or even excess energy, there will be additional rewards. Yu Qingning had a hint of gritting his teeth. What reward? Xiao Jiu hesitated and said, well, I'm not sure either. All the information in its system comes from the superior system, and it is not aware of it. It is just a tool for relaying messages from superiors. Yu Qingming's head is covered in black lines. In the end, as a spatial steward, it knows nothing. I'm so angry. Xiao Jiu. I don't want to do that either, but their level is too low. Is there any way they can do it? A few seconds later, Xiao Jiu's excited voice reached Yu Qingming's mind again. 
Master, Master, energy is coming. Yu Qingning. What does it mean? This is a big forest, where does the energy come from? Wait, energy. Does that mean there are injured people here? Xiao Jiu, where is the person? She didn't feel anyone's breath. Xiao Jiu chattered, Master, that person is a thousand meters away from you, and this person has a lot of energy. Upon hearing a lot of energy, Yu Qingning's eyes lit up instantly. She pulled the two little dolls behind her and walked quickly towards the direction Xiao Jiu had said. Along the way, she made several traps and hid them, waiting for the prey to fall into the net. She also collected some medicinal herbs she encountered. Although it's not as valuable, even the smallest mosquito is still meat. When she approached that direction, with a keen sense of smell, she could smell the faint smell of blood in the air. For her, who used to be on the battlefield, this scent is familiar to her. She released the hands of Yu Qingyan and Yu Qingrui, took down the backpack, and handed the things in her hand to Yu Qingyan. Then she said, Ainan, you take Rui Rui and stay here. Sister will be back soon. The situation over there is unclear, and she is not confident in taking the two of them over to make it safer for them to stay here. She has observed that there is basically no danger here. She also secretly sprinkled some medicine powder on the two of them, and those insects and other things would hide from them. Yu Qingyan didn't ask why anymore, just nodded solemnly, and then tightly held on to his sister's little hand. Arrange them, and Yu Qingning went alone towards that side. The closer you walk, the thicker the blood in the air. Yu Qingning frowned at the smell and asked, Xiao Jiu, how far is it? Xiao Jiu. Master, it's coming soon. After walking for a few more minutes, Yu Qingning finally saw her destination. Then, I saw her energy. There is a person lying on the ground, more precisely, a bloody person. The person in front of him is a man, covered in blood and stained with blood on his face. His face is not very clear, but from the vagueness, it can also be seen that he is born very well. Moreover, in Yu Qingning's opinion, his physique was also excellent. She had never met someone with such a beautiful appearance before. It's so good that she wants to peel him off and cramp him before collecting it. This person is the rarest and least common top dot quality Kirin bone in the world. Yu Qingning's hand itched and she tried her best to control her desire to dissect the person in front of her. Hold back, you must hold back, you can't take action. He is still alive. This is a human life. Yu Qingning told herself this in her heart. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Saving People You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Saving People Yu Qingning walked forward gently, and at the moment she made a sound, the seemingly unconscious and even lifeless, blood man, in front of her suddenly opened her eyes. A pair of beautiful peach blossom eyes that Yu Qingning later remembered for a lifetime and cannot be forgotten. She also quite wants to collect these eyes. Yu Qingning has a unique habit of collecting things that are beautiful to the extreme. At this moment, his peach blossom eyes were dark and heavy, with deep and dark pupils. However, his eyes were filled with boundless despair and cold darkness, as well as the hatred that Lian Yuqing could feel that could not be hidden. But at the moment of seeing her, her eyes burst into an astonishing light, as if they had caught their only vitality and hope, as if a drowning person had caught the only float. At that moment, those beautiful and hopeful eyes reminded Yu Qingning of her former self. I used to walk alone in my family, I used to study crazily in the quiet night, and I wanted to commit murder. At that time, she was also like a person in such a moment. When she saw a glimmer of hope, she wanted to seize it regardless of whether it was good or bad. Coming to her senses from memory, she calmed down, walked forward, and then squatted down. Anyway, Let's take a look at his injuries first. As for whether he is good or bad, she doesn't consider so much at the moment. For the sake of energy, and also because I am a doctor, I cannot refuse to save my life. She still has such a loss of medical ethics. If he were a bad person, she wouldn't save him and then cut him off again. 
Yu Qingming pulled up the man's hand covered in blood stains, and then her fair and slender fingers rested on his wrist. The man's hand instinctively grasped Yu Qingming's wrist tightly, causing Yu Qingming's hand to ache. In just one moment, a piercing red mark appeared on Yu Qingming's fair and almost transparent wrist. The man's hazy and not very clear eyes looked at her in surprise, and then, as if forcing himself, he uttered words word by word. Help me. He probably hasn't spoken for too long, and his voice is extremely hoarse, like a dying beast, roaring vigorously. Upon hearing these words, Yu Qingming paused and a dark light flashed through her eyes. She broke free from his hand and took his pulse, actually using instruments in space to check her body. Although Xiao Jiu was temporarily unable to use them, the instruments and medicine in space were still usable. The examination instruments of the 30th century were very advanced, which could clearly detect the scars on his body, faster and more useful than her pulse. Then her eyebrows furrowed and tightened. At this moment, waves surged in her heart, shocked and unbelievable, thinking about how a person could suffer so many injuries. Not to mention the injuries all over the body, several ribs were broken on the body, and the internal organs were also greatly damaged. In addition, they were also poisoned by several types of poison. But it's a miracle that he can still survive with his body shattered into pieces. After seeing his physical condition, Yu Qingning's gaze shifted to him and carefully scrutinized him, without moving her eyes away from him. Hmm, although he can't see his face clearly, Yu Qingning can be certain that he is a top-dot-notch handsome guy, as can be seen from his physical appearance alone. Skin is easy to obtain, but bone is not easy to find. What should she do if she wants to show her interest? Yu Qingning felt a bit conflicted and hesitant in her heart. The clothes on the man's body have been torn and tattered by the sword, but the fabric feels good to the touch. This person's family background should be very good. What worries her is that this person's origin is unknown, whether it's good or bad. I have not yet regained my combat power, and Yu Qingning dare not risk his and his family's lives. At this moment, the man's rough voice rang in her ear again. Please save me, please. He can't die yet, at least not now due to the severe injury, his just opened eyes closed again and he fainted. However, the requests and glimmers of hope implied in his voice made Yu Qingning somewhat unable to refuse. This kind of despair, which Yu Qingning has experienced, is because she has experienced it, and surprisingly, she has a soft heart towards this person. Yu Qingning remained silent for a few moments, and finally let out a deep sigh. Just think of it as her doing a good deed. I hope she can have good karma for being good. She patted the man's shoulder, and the wet and sticky touch on her hands made Yu Qingming frown. She didn't really like this sticky touch. Xiao Jiu, take out the emergency medicine in the space, Yu Qingming instructed with a frown. The injuries all over her body and the toxins inside her body, I don't know how much energy and medication it will cost her. But the top priority is to save his life first, and take the rest slowly. Okay, master, Xiao Jiu has received it. Xiao Jiu is very excited. His energy is coming and he doesn't need to disappear anymore. In the blink of an eye, a white bottle appeared in Yu Qingming's hand, filled with emergency life dot saving medicine. This medicine is one of the latest drugs developed in the 30th century, which can help anyone with only one breath to stabilize their vital signs, so that doctors can treat them in a timely manner. Thanks to her habit of hoarding more medicine when she was on the battlefield, she had plenty of various medicines, otherwise it would be really difficult for her to deal with this situation now. This emergency life dot saving medicine is most suitable for this man's current situation, but otherwise, even if Hua Tua is alive, he may not be able to save him in a while. Yu Qingning poured out two white pills and then squeezed open the man's mouth with one hand, stuffing both pills into his mouth. The man seemed to have a sensation and spontaneously swallowed these two pills. Yu Qingming breathed a sigh of relief and showed a relieved expression. As long as you can take medication, it won't be so severe that there is no room for treatment. Yu Qingming looked left and right and found that there were no other people in the forest. 
Okay. You have to carry him back on your own. She stood up from the ground and then struggled to lift the man on the ground with both hands. As soon as the man's body landed on her back, Yu Qingning almost fell to the ground under pressure. I'm going. This person is a bit too heavy, right? Unfortunately, he was seriously injured and looked quite thin. I didn't expect him to be so heavy. If it weren't for taking medicine these days and feeling better, otherwise if she had dragged on such a person, with her body that takes two steps to catch her breath, she wouldn't have been able to hiccup. Yu Qingning has decided to add a physical exertion fee and mental loss fee to the man's diagnosis and medical expenses, and to extort a sum from him fiercely. This man is definitely not short of money, is he? Yu Qingning couldn't move him on his back, so he could only use his hands to support his shoulders and move slowly and painstakingly step by step. The man was unconscious at the moment, his eyes slightly closed, motionless, without the dangerous feeling he had just woken up. His hands were hanging below, and drops of bright red blood dripped down his fingers to the ground, staining the muddy yellow soil red. There were too many injuries on the man's body, and Yu Qingning could even notice that his coarse cloth clothes were soaked in blood. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Awakening You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Awakening, Hoo 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 It's really exhausting, I'm exhausted. Yu Qingning exerted all her strength and finally dragged the man to the place where Yu Qingyan and Yu Qingrui stayed. The two little dolls remained obediently in place. Not a single step was taken. Yu Qingning was panting heavily, and her originally slightly pale face had already turned slightly rosy from exhaustion. The two children's eyes clearly lit up when they saw her, sister, sister, the two of them kept calling out to her one by one. Yu Qingyan was startled when he saw his sister dragging someone back, who was also a man covered in blood. His round and big eyes, similar to those of Yu Qingrui, were wide open. Even if he is mature and steady, he is still just an eight-year-old child. How could he not be shocked or afraid to see this scene? And Yu Qingrui was clearly frightened. She had never seen such a man covered in blood before. In just a few seconds, she blushed and cried, asking, Sister, who is he? He's so scary. When Yu Qingming just saved someone, she ignored the reaction of the two little dolls. She didn't expect them to be so scared, so she quickly explained and comforted them, Rue Rue, don't be afraid. This person is seriously injured. My sister just saved him, and now we need to take him back. Upon hearing her words, Yu Qingming's fearful expression significantly eased. Yu Qingrui let out a sigh, stopped crying, her eyes red like a bullied little rabbit, so cute. Yu Qingning chuckled lightly and gently touched Yu Qingrui's small face. Yu Qingrui's little girl blushed with embarrassment, her face burning hot. It's so embarrassing, just crying like that. My sister and brother will laugh at her again. Yu Qingning's smile deepened and he said, All right, sister, hold him up now, you two take the basket. Although the two little dolls are not young, their strength is not small. Yu Qingming had already noticed this, and many of the household chores were done by the two of them on weekdays. By contrast, I used to either lie in bed or sit in bed all day, which was really useless. Yu Qingin obediently carried the huge backpack onto his thin and thin back, looking very forced, but his walking movements were steady and steady, without any stumbling. Three people, along with a person who was half dead and only one dot third alive, walked back along the original path. Yu Qingning deliberately walked to the place where he had set up the trap before, and was pleasantly surprised to find that there were still quite a few prey inside, including two rabbits and three wild chickens, and two of them were still bouncing around. Although there aren't any big prey, having these harvests is still considered good, it's better than nothing. At least we can have a meal of meat tonight. In Yu Qingning's memory, it has been a long time since meat was served at home. On weekdays, there are usually coarse steamed buns and sweet potato porridge, so it would be great if there is some oil and water. He took out the prey and placed it in a basket. 
Yu Qingning was afraid that the basket would be too heavy for Yu Qingin to carry, so he wanted to hold it for him, but he firmly refused. So Yu Qingning could only give up, while secretly sighing at his brother's warmth. Due to dragging someone down, the three of them didn't move fast. As they walked back, Yu Qingning easily picked up a lot of herbs. She plans to sell those two rabbits and these herbs, and then take out a century-old ginseng from her space, which should be able to sell for a lot of money. When I returned, there were still no people on the village road, and the broad dirt road was empty. Yu Qingning carried the man back home, opened the door, pondered for a while, and dragged him to the vacant room. Placing him flat on the bed, Yu Qingning took a breath. My aunt is exhausted to death. Yu Qingning pulled up his hand, which was covered in red blood, and then checked his pulse. Compared to before, the pulse is much smoother, and Yu Qingning knows that those two emergency life dot saving pills are working. Dad, Mom, at this moment, Yu Qingrui's milky voice came from the yard, soft and pleasant to listen to. Yu Qingning walked out of the room and saw Yu Wanzhou and Song Tianwan returning from the fields. They had some dirt on their bodies, indicating that they had returned from farming work. Dad, Mom, she affectionately called out to them. After spending these days together, Yu Qingning was able to fully integrate into this family. Ning Ning, why did you go out today? And you're still going to such a dangerous place on the mountain. What if you encounter a wild beast? You're not feeling well yet, you need to rest carefully. Song Tianwan seemingly blaming but actually caring words reached Yu Qingning's ears, and a warm current surged in Yu Qingning's heart. She smiled slightly coquettishly and said, Mom, I'm fine. I feel much better these days and I don't feel tired at all. Upon hearing these words, Yu Wenzhou and Song Tianwan realized that her face was indeed much better than before. Before, Ning Ning used to have a pale and sickly face, but now her face is not that white anymore, and she has regained her energy. She no longer looks like a sickly seedling. Yu Qingning thought of the person in the room and turned her gaze to Yu Wanzhou, saying, Dad, I saved someone on the mountain today. He was covered in blood all over. I'm afraid I need you to go tidy him up and change his clothes. After all, she is a woman. In the kingdom of Zhou, Although the defense between men and women is not so strict, if the news of her changing men's clothes spreads, her reputation will definitely be affected. Yu Wanzhou naturally knew this truth. He nodded and then turned to his own room, took a set of his own coarse cloth clothes, and walked into the vacant room. Yu Qingming saw her father walk in, and then she prepared to cook. Taking the basket from Yu Qingin's hand, she took out a few wild chickens and then took the opportunity to put a ginseng in the space into the basket. She even deliberately buried the ginseng in the soil and dug it out, creating the illusion that it had just been dug out of the soil. Thanks to the static function of space, anything placed inside will remain in its original state, so food will remain fresh and not spoil. Seeing Yu Qingning bring out a few wild chickens, Song Tianwan was somewhat surprised and said, Ning Ning, how did you catch these wild chickens? Before Yu Qingning could speak, Yu Qingrui's face turned red with excitement and she replied excitedly, Mom, sister is really amazing. These are all caught by sister, and there are also two cute rabbits. Yu Qingin pursed his small mouth with a reserved expression, but the corners of his mouth slightly raised, and he couldn't help but nod happily like pounding garlic. Yu Qingning's lips curved as he said, Mother, I'm planning to replenish the health of an N and Ruerue with these few wild chickens. I plan to sell those two rabbits in town tomorrow. According to memory, there is a market in this town every ten days, and people in the village will buy some daily necessities during the market. Ning Ning, what you said is good, Song Tianwan said, feeling both relieved and heartbroken when one's own daughter grows up, being a mother naturally brings joy. Yu Qingming said, Mom, if you boil some hot water, I'll kill the chicken. Upon hearing these words, Song Tianwan's face was filled with surprise, and his eyes widened slightly, as if he had heard something incredible. Kill a chicken. She couldn't have heard it wrong, could she? Before she could say anything, 
Yu Wenzhou walked out of the room, his face not looking good, and his head covered in sweat. It seems that changing clothes for the people inside is not an easy task, Yu Qingming thought to herself. His voice was a bit dry, and his eyes were indescribably heavy and complex. Ning Ning, the people in the room are awake. Yu Qingming didn't notice his abnormality and walked straight into the room. Yu Wenzhou never expected that the person Ning Ning saved would actually be that one. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Hello, Miss Yu. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 Hello, Miss Yu Yu Qingming was a bit surprised. How could a person wake up so quickly? Normally, he was injured so badly, shouldn't he? She didn't pay attention to the strange and serious expression on Yu Wenzhou's face at this moment, put down the things in her hand, and then strode towards the house. As soon as she entered the room, she saw the man who had changed into old but clean clothes, covered in blood stains and wiped clean. Now, without the cover of blood, his true face was fully presented before Yu Qingming's eyes. Seeing his appearance, Yu Qingming's eyes quickly flashed with amazement. The man has a handsome appearance and exquisite facial features, just like the most perfect work in heaven, without any flaws. At this moment, lying quietly with closed eyes, like a beautiful landscape painting, even in this dilapidated environment, dressed in coarse linen clothes, still exudes an elegant and noble aura, just like a sesame tree, or like white snow on a high mountain. Because there were too many wounds on his body, Yu Wenzhou took medicine to bandage him and did not put on an outer garment for him, only a sleeping gown. Yu Qingming felt that his father's rough sleeping clothes on him made him wear them as if they were a precious treasure. The tight-fitting sleeping clothes outline his broad shoulders and slender waist, and from his smooth jawline, white bandages can be vaguely seen running through his entire upper body, indicating the extent of his injuries. TSK, it looks really nice. My figure is also good. Yu Qingming looked at his handsome face with a hint of excitement. It seems that saving him was not in vain. Yu Qingming sighed sincerely in her heart. She had seen handsome guys before, and there were all handsome guys in the crazy battle army, but no one was as good dot looking as the person in front of her. With his face, saving him is worth it. Yu Qingming didn't want to make any noise to break the atmosphere, but the man with his eyes closed suddenly opened them. At the moment he opened his eyes, his temperament changed instantly. His beautiful and lingering peach blossom eyes were cold and eerie, and the depths of his eyes were boundless and dark, like a sharp blade about to be unsheathed, bloodthirsty, cruel, sharp and dangerous. It was the same hatred she had when she saved him. Yu Qingning saw his gaze, and there were some fluctuations in his calm eyes, which were fleeting. This person's guard is really heavy, Yu Qingning muttered inwardly. The man restrained his gaze and became calm and gentle, like the most elegant nobleman. His voice was still hoarse, and he gratefully said, Thank you very much for saving your life, Mississippi. Before he fell into a coma, he thought she wouldn't save him, but unexpectedly, he thought he was wrong. Yu Qingning sat down on a low stool and smiled faintly, You're welcome. I just saved your life temporarily, but the injuries and poison on your body will take some more time. The man seemed to want to say something, but he was a bit hesitant and hesitant. Young master, don't worry too much. I have no malicious intent. If I had any malicious intent, I wouldn't have saved you today. Moreover, this place is remote, and no one can find you yet. Yu Qingming understood what he was thinking when he saw his expression, and explained carefully. Such a dangerous person may attract someone with a higher level of danger, and he will definitely not want his whereabouts to be leaked. My name is Jingha, the man said as she finished speaking. I didn't suspect the girl, I just caused trouble for her. I'm sorry. To Yu Qingning's surprise, Jingha replied. Yu Qingning paused, as if surprised by his reaction, but readily responded, You're welcome. As the saying goes, saving a person's life is better than building a level 7 pagoda. If I save you, it means we may have a connection. By the way, my name is Yu Qingning. Jing he gave a faint smile, his voice warm and magnetic. 
Miss you. Fate. Perhaps. He stared at the woman in front of him and thought to himself. Jing He and Yu Qingming kept these two words echoing in their minds. Scenery. According to the De Zhou annals she had read while idle in bed these past few days, the current emperor's surname was Jing. However, Yu Qingming did not believe that this person was a member of the royal family. Jing He was probably a fake name, or perhaps his name. However, if you dare to use the character Jing, I believe this person has a close relationship with the royal family. Yu Qingming stood up from the stool and said, All right, rest well. You can't get out of bed casually. I will bring you the food and medicine. My father will change the medicine for you on time for the injury you have. Don't worry. She only saved him for the sake of energy, following the kindness of her few remaining doctors. It's troublesome, she doesn't want to get involved at all. She wouldn't have been blinded by the gentle appearance of the person in front of her. With so much hatred hidden in her heart, how could she be so gentle? This person, hiding their immense hatred under a kind skin, can only demonstrate that they can tolerate it. Yu Qingming immediately marked this person with a cunning mark. After Yu Qingming walked out of the room, the gentle expression on the faces of the people in the room disappeared in an instant. His expression was gloomy, his eyes were crimson, and a bone-burning hatred filled his heart. The bright red blood in his mind, the loved ones who died in front of him one by one, were all hatred that he could not forget. He fled all the way from the border to this place, thinking he was bound to die. Who knew that when he was in despair, someone would appear and save him. But he dare not relax, even when he is unconscious, he dare not relax for a moment. His life is not his own now, it belongs to his Shu family. Just as he was lost in thought, a faint sound of footsteps came from outside. It's different from the footsteps of the girl just now. Yu Qingrui walked in carrying a bowl of water and met his guarded gaze, startled and then blushed in the blink of an eye. Jing and Jian were a few-year-old little girl who withdrew her guarded gaze. Big brother, this is the water my sister asked me to bring to you. She said your throat must be uncomfortable, and drinking this will make you feel better. Yu Qingrui stuttered and bravely told him what her sister had told her. Jing He listened to her words and felt a slight movement in his heart. However, his heart, which had been soaked in hatred for many days, was suddenly hit by something. Warm, crispy, and numb. How long has it been since I felt this warm feeling? He slid his throat and said, Thank you for me, sister. He took the water and drank it without hesitation. In fact, he shouldn't be so unguarded, but perhaps it was because he remembered the girl's smiling face just now, or the light that appeared in his eyes when he was on the brink of death. He felt that she shouldn't harm him. If she wants to harm him, just don't save him. There was a faint bitterness in the water, and after drinking it, Jing He felt a lot of comfort in his dry throat. Yu Qingrui saw that he had finished drinking water, took the bowl, and then ran out with a thud on his short legs. The soft and sweet voices of children came from outside, and even if they couldn't see them, Jing He could imagine the scene was very warm. Sister, he finished drinking. Yu Qingrui held the empty bowl and invited Yu Qingming for credit, then successfully received the touch of love from her own biological sister. Yu Qingming happily touched Yu Qingrui's head and praised, Rui Rui is really amazing. She added something to the bowl of water just now that could make him sleep, and now he's probably already asleep. She had already realized that Jing he was very guarded. Although she had saved his life, for him at this moment, no one was trustworthy. Perhaps he didn't even believe himself. In order to help him recover better, Yu Qingming had no choice but to add something to the water. Upon receiving her praise, Yu Qingrui's round and big eyes narrowed happily, like crescent moons. Yu Qingming thought of Jing He's situation and silently sighed in her heart. According to his current situation, in the future development, TMs will not be blackened out, will it? Master, your guess is completely correct. Just then, a annoying butler appeared in Yu Qingming's mind. Xiao Jiu, 
What do you mean? said Yu Qingming with a hint of curiosity in her tone, the air suddenly quieted down. But soon, Xiao Jiu's despicable voice echoed in Yu Qingming's mind again. Master, what they mean is that this person will really turn into a big villain in the future, and then drag the world into war. At that time, the world will be devastated and the people will be in dire straits. Yu Qingming. What? What did I hear? So she saved a bomb that could explode at any moment. Is it so serious? Her expression was somewhat solemn. Xiao Jiu nodded incessantly like a tambourine and said, Hmm. What it doesn't say is that this person has not gone through everything yet, and he will have many tragic experiences in the future. It's like hearing someone cry and hearing someone sad. Otherwise, how could a three good young men with straight roots become so violent? They are all forced by life. My eldest son has come out O, oh, asterisk greater than or equal to less than or equal to, clapping the table and laughing wildly. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Chicken Stewed with Mushrooms You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Chicken Stewed with Mushrooms Yu Qingming so, what about that? So, Yu Qingming paused for a moment, revealing a strange smile, Xiao Jiu, how did you know about these things? Xiao Jiu immediately fell silent. The air is quiet. A complete silence. Yu Qingming's inner thoughts. He he da. I'm starting to pretend to be dead again. You told me such a thing to my mother, which made me take it to heart, and as a result, I started to disappear again. The prophet and butler, Xiao Jiu, felt a little guilty and did not explain how he knew about these things. Instead, he began to say something else. So, master, besides treating the patient, you can also help him get out of the quagmire and prevent future events from happening. The merits at that time are unimaginable, and Xiao Jiu can gain a lot of energy. Yu Qingming chuckled and said, So, besides treating his injuries, I also need to treat his heart. Why don't you let me give him warmth and care every day? Xiao Jiu's voice sounded very excited. Master, that would be great. Today, he saved his life and only gained 3% of its energy, which was not enough to fill its teeth. If it relies on searching for patients one by one, it doesn't know when, month, and day it can obtain enough energy. Yu Qingming. You're so angry, you really want to hit someone. The goods in the space are intangible and cannot be hit. Yu Qingming said angrily, I understand, the butler. She is now a hard-working person who keeps working for energy. Poor people. After receiving her reply, Xiao Jiu lost his voice and immediately ran away. Mom, let me cook. Yu Qingming regained her senses and saw Song Tianwan preparing to chop the chicken. She approached and took the knife from Song Tianwan's hand, then pushed her out of the kitchen. She turned around and went to chop the killed chicken. When she was in the room just now, Yu Wenzhou had already cleaned up the chicken she wanted to kill, which happened to save her trouble. Song Tianwan's face was full of surprise. Ning Ning, when did you cook? My daughter has been lying in bed most of the time since she was young due to her weak body. She is always kind-hearted, not to mention chopping chickens, not even ants have been trampled to death. Song Tianwan thought this way, and then saw his daughter, who had always been fragile, unable to take care of herself, neatly pick up the knife without blinking an eye. She quickly chopped the prepared chicken into small pieces. She widened her eyes and showed a shocked expression, as if she had seen something unbelievable. Song Tianan. How did her obedient daughter change? Yu Qingning didn't pay attention to Song Tian warming up, she was busy cooking. Rui Rui, take your mother to the yard to sit and rest, Yu Qingning instructed the little girl while busy cooking, her eyes focused on cutting vegetables. Yu Qingning plans to use one chicken to make wild chicken stewed with mushrooms, one chicken to stew soup and the other to stay still for now. The person lying inside now is very weak, you can drink some chicken soup to make up for it. And others can also drink to supplement some nutrients. 
Yu Qingrui held Song Tianwan's hand and then pulled her away, who was staring at Yu Qingming in a daze. Yu Qingmin doesn't need to be skilled enough to squat in front of the stove and start a fire. Yu Qingming first put the chopped chicken into the pot, added water, and then added scallions and ginger. She actually wanted to add some cooking wine, but in this era, there was no wine at home, so she could only add scallions and ginger. In no time, the water in the pot was boiling, and Yu Qingming scooped out the chicken and rinsed it several times. When Yu Qingming was young in that vast family, she faced various sharp and dark arrows from the family. What she learned was that no one could believe her, so she cooked for years and months on her own. Who knows if what you eat will be poisoned, but she has developed a good culinary skill as a result. Later in the army, those people were all rough men. If you want to rely on them to eat, hee hee, not being poisoned by the food they make is considered lucky. So, except for the cafeteria, the entire berserker army relied on her as a woman, and as a result, her cooking skills became even more refined, not inferior to the most skilled chef outside. She is proficient in every step, as if she has done cooking millions of times. Although Song Tianwan was sitting in the courtyard with Yu Qingrui's little one pulling her, she could clearly see the scene in the kitchen. Seeing her daughter's familiar and unfamiliar movements, she felt shocked and numb. She moved to Yu Wenzhou, who was weaving a straw hat, and whispered, Wenzhou, why has Ningning undergone such a big change? Yu Wenzhou affectionately pulled her hand, although it was rough, Yu Wenzhou felt heartbroken. With an inexplicable light in his eyes, he replied, and and just told me that Ning Ning is blessed by heaven and belongs to her. He also lowered his voice and picked up the one he had just received from his son No, I told my wife what I asked, knowing that she is prone to overthinking, but no matter what, Ning Ning is always their daughter. Encountering such a good thing is Ning Ning's great luck. Besides, have you forgotten what the master said before Ning Ning was born? Yu Wenzhou spoke with great care and dedication. Song Tianwan moistened his eyes and said, This is a good thing for Ning Ning. She has been sick for so many years, and it's great to be able to recover. Yu Wenzhou nodded and said, Yes. Over the past decade or so, they have feared countless times that they would lose this daughter. How beautiful she looks now. Yu Qingming cooked quickly, and half an hour later, the chicken stewed with mushrooms was served on the dining table. In addition, she also picked vegetables from the yard and made a stir-fried green vegetable and a cold cucumber. As for the chicken soup, as she needs to take care of the person who is currently asleep in the room, she plans to cook it after finishing this lunch, which will be perfect for dinner. Their lunch today was actually a bit late, later than the other days in their memory. The family sat around a table in the yard, with three dishes on the table. The chicken stewed with mushrooms had a bright and shiny oil, and the aroma was overwhelming. The strands of aroma rushed into each of their noses. Stir-fried vegetables look moist and shiny, and they are very tender. Yu Qingming has secretly tried cucumbers, which are refreshing, sweet, and crispy. They are cold mixed with seasonings, making them sour and appetizing. There is still a little white rice left in the kitchen, so Yu Qingming specially made white rice today. Although not much, each person can have a small bowl. In addition, it is steamed coarse steamed buns that are full. Yu Qingyin and Yu Qingrui swallowed their saliva and secretly glanced at the meat on the table, but never looked away. How fragrant! I really want to eat. What should I do? Even though they were very greedy in their hearts, the two of them were sensible and didn't use their chopsticks. After Yu Wenzhou and Song Tian warmed their chopsticks, their desire for meat only erupted in their eyes. Upon seeing this, Yu Qingning smiled and pinched the small faces of both of them, then gave each of them a piece of chicken and said, Eat it quickly, two little greedy cats. Yu Qingning also took a piece herself. Although she had confidence in her cooking skills, the seasoning here was not as complete as the original world, so she couldn't guarantee that she could make the original flavor. She took a sip and the chicken stew was very flavorful, soft and juicy, with a strong aroma, especially for wild chickens, 
which had a firmness and chewiness that raised chickens did not have. Yu Qingning. It's really delicious. How can I be so spicy? How can I make these spicy and delicious? After so many days of finally eating meat, Yu Qingning could hardly help but burst into tears of joy. A few people were immediately attracted by the delicious food as soon as they ate it. Sister, eat well. Yu Qingrui slurred her saliva and continued to bite a piece of chicken without worrying about the heat, while clearly expressing her love for this delicious food. The other few people, although not as exaggerated as her, reflected the same meaning in their eyes. Yu Qingming chuckled lightly and said, Eat slowly, no one is competing with you. As she spoke, she also gave Yu Qingrui a piece of chicken and a few chopsticks of mushrooms. The mushrooms have absorbed the taste of the soup, making it exceptionally smooth and tender. It tastes even better than chicken. At this moment, Yu Qingming was filled with a feeling of, Oh, my mother is still so amazing, she hasn't lost her culinary skills. The last large plate of chicken was eaten clean by them, and even the soup was used to dip into the steamed buns. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Market Rush You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Market Rush After finishing the bowl of water, Jingha felt his eyes becoming increasingly heavy and eventually fell into a deep sleep. When he woke up, the sunny noon outside had turned into an evening filled with golden light. Jingha lay in bed, and from the small window in the room, he could see the crimson and fiery clouds outside, connected in large patches, which were extremely beautiful. Although he had seen the scene countless times in the capital, he felt that it was extremely beautiful when he moved to a different place. From fleeing to now, for over a month, his heart has been held in mid-air, never feeling so calm and peaceful, and even some confusion. The sound of opening the door came from the doorway, and he looked up and saw the little girl walking in with two bowls. Yu Qingning estimated that by this time, the medicine was almost ready, and the people in the room should have woken up. Wake up! She sat beside the bed with a bowl of chicken soup and rice porridge in her hand and asked with a smile. Hmm. Jinghan knew that her drowsiness must be related to the bowl of water she drank at noon, but since she had not done anything harmful to herself, there was no need to ask. The little girl's eyes are very clean and pure, not the kind of person with ulterior motives. The smile in Yu Qingming's eyes deepened, it was great, she liked such a smart person. The medicine has been boiled, and will be brought to you soon. You can only eat some liquid food now, so I brought you a bowl of chicken soup and rice porridge. Yu Qingming explained to him. She had intended to give him a bowl of chicken soup, but at noon she finally saved her bowl of rice by enduring pain, and then cooked a bowl of white rice porridge for him. Oh, I can only look at this person's beauty to chat and console myself. Who let beauty deceive people? Thinking this way, it seems that there is no such heartache anymore. Thank you, miss you. Jing He's voice was gentle, like a flowing stream, flowing endlessly, and it sounded extremely pleasant. Yu Qingning unconsciously touched her translucent earlobe, feeling that the kind of pregnancy-inducing sound she knew was just like that. Yu Qingning stepped forward and, with a somewhat surprised gaze from Jing He, helped him up, leaning him half on the bed, and then handed him the chicken soup in his hand. Let's start with a bowl of soup. I was lucky to save you today and caught several wild chickens, Yu Qingning said with a faint smile, her calm face carrying a reassuring smile. The chicken soup has been boiled for over an hour and is very fragrant. The excess oil has been skimmed off by Yu Qingning, and at this moment, the yellow and clear soup is placed in a porcelain white bowl, which is particularly tempting. Jingha took a sip and tasted something similar to delicious for the first time in over a month. It tastes great. Yu Qingning's eyes were burning with anticipation as she said, Is it delicious? The girl in front of me is very beautiful, unparalleled in beauty. Her eyes are delicate and agile, and the flowing light seems to contain countless stars. Jingha's eyes were burned by the brightness, his eyes dimmed, his Adam's apple slid, and his voice remained as warm as ever, making him even more refined. Hmm, 
it tastes good. Upon receiving a satisfactory answer, Yu Qingning was like a child who had eaten candy, showing a bright and charming smile, and her small face became even more charming and charming. If it's good, drink more, Yu Qingning waved his hand and said. At last, Jing He drank the chicken soup and rice porridge thoroughly. As Yu Qingning said, he is not fit to eat too much now. He felt full after eating them. Half an hour later, a bowl of medicine that looked black with hot air was brought in by Yu Qingning. Although the life dot saving medicine in her space saved his life, in order to recover, a large wave of bitter medicine cannot be avoided. After all, this person only has half of his life left now. Some medicinal herbs were dug up by her on the mountain today, while others were taken out of her space. Jing He didn't say a word and sat on the bed, drinking the bowl of medicine in one breath without even frowning. Yu Qingning felt bitter as she looked at the medicine. She didn't like to drink bitter medicine the most, it was too difficult to drink, so sometimes when she was sick, she would rather drag it on than drink it. Yu Qingning looked at the empty medicine bowl and nodded in satisfaction. Very good, she also likes obedient patience. Hello, rest well. Yu Qingning picked up the bowl and walked out. This medicine also helps with sleep, after all, if someone like him is mentally stressed and doesn't rest well, even the best medicine is useless. It's better for her to directly make up for him and save her some medicine money. Jing He watched her go out and only withdrew his gaze after her figure disappeared. The people in the village work at sunrise and rest at sunset, with little activity at night, so as soon as it gets dark, every household is already asleep. Yu Qingning has recently become accustomed to going to bed early, so she also goes to bed early like everyone else. Just before going to bed, she was still thinking about what to buy when she went to town the next day. The next morning, after finishing the breakfast made by Song Tianwan, Yu Qingning boiled the medicine for Jing He and instructed Song Tianwan to bring it to him to drink. Later, Yu Qingning took Yu Qingyan and Yu Qingrui and prepared to go to the town. In the past few days, Yu Wenzhou and Song Tianwan have fully realized Ning Ning's abilities, so they didn't say anything. And they have some more important things to confirm. Yu Qingming's younger sister and younger brother happily went to the only family in the village with a cart. If they wanted to go to the town, they would ask him for a favor. Uncle Yu, the three of them walked to the entrance of Yu Dashin's house and saw that there were many people gathered around the door, all going to the town. These people are all neighbors in the village, and Yu Qingning can basically recognize them all. Ah, uh, Ning Ning. A slightly chubby woman saw their siblings and quickly greeted them with a smile, waving her hands. She smiled very kindly. Yu Bunyang. Yu Qingning politely called out. This is Li Tsuehua, the wife of Yu Dashan. Although she used to go out frequently due to her poor health, everyone in the village knew her. Yu Bunyang, Yu Qingyan and Yu Qingrui called out politely, with one voice being immature but unable to conceal her composure, and the other voice being sweet like honey, sweet to the heart. Hey, look at these three children. They are so sensible. Come on, Uncle Nyang, treat you to candy. Li Tsuihua smiled brightly and took out three pieces of maltose the size of a thumb from the room, then gave each one. Yu Qingming didn't refuse to take it over and took a sip. It's sweet, but not boring. The two little dolls were also very happy when they ate the sugar, taking small bites and reluctant to finish it so quickly. Ning Ning, are you going to the town to go to the market? Another woman saw them carrying baskets on their backs and asked curiously. Yu Qingming nodded and said, Yes, Tian Bunyang. The person asking her is Hu Chunhua, the wife of the village carpenter Tian Yong, who has always been warm and generous. The few people at the door have recently heard from Song Tianwan that their family's Ning Ning health is getting better. They didn't believe it at first. They have been sick for so many years, how could they suddenly recover? But today I saw Ning Ning carrying a backpack and her face was not red or panting, so I believed that. So one by one, they began to gather around Yu Qingning and his siblings, asking enthusiastic questions. Yu Qingning has a good impression of these people, 
and the atmosphere in Shiyu village is very good, without those unreasonable people. Then she said that the medicine she had consumed over the years worked, and in addition, she had met a divine doctor before and was asked to give her medicine as a gift. The old immortal is just a reason for her to deal with her parents, and outsiders don't need to explain it to them so clearly. Not to mention encountering a divine doctor, she has other plans in the future. In no time, a group of people boarded the ox cart. Tian Wenyang and several others were afraid that Yu Qingming's three children would not be comfortable sitting in the car, so they deliberately made room for the comfortable space in the car for them. Yu Qingming's three siblings declined and sat down. End of this chapter